I've been involved with Salty uh, since its inception. Um, I uh, received a phone call from Janice Keefe at uh, Mount St. Vincent, um, encouraging me to join up with her and others as they were uh, writing or applying for a grant uh, to uh, put Salty into place. And at that time, um, I was deeply involved with uh, dementia in that my husband was ill and uh, I had been attending several support groups and because I'm active and stay abreast of how things are working for people suffering with Alzheimer's or with some one or two or three form of dementia, um, because I have that knowledge and because I've been exposed to it and uh, that I'm a welcome visitor at most homes when I became quite an expert on long-term care. Uh, and so I became a member of SALTI under Janice's guidance and I represented family Family caregiver. Cameron Lynham. I'm from British Columbia, and I'm a healthcare assistant for Fraser Health. I've been with Salty since I think the beginning, 2016. Mm -hmm. Eye opening to be a part of this. Uh, the first few years, I didn't really quite know my role. I was a little bit hesitant to find my voice, and uh, over time, I uh, became more confident, and that I knew the field, and I did have something to share. I feel like uh, my points have been validated, and uh, my insight is a lot more valuable than I once thought. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's nice that they really value what I have to say because they know that I see it day in, day out. And uh, I feel like my whole, you know, my whole time as being a carried, I've, you know, I've had so many of these conversations, but not with the right people. And now finally I'm in a place where these conversations actually matter. It's nice. It's refreshing to, to hear all these ideas and to see people that want to make a difference. Mm. It's, I'm not saying it's a rarity, but I'm yet to see it. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. For the policymakers and everyone else, uh, there's a lot to learn from the people on the front line. For a long time, I have uh, been a very large proponent of getting research that's relevant to what I need. And as a knowledge user, too often I'm confronted with getting results of something that I haven't got the foggiest clue what to do with and have no good sense of how to use them to best advantage. And then many of the things that are coming forward are actually making us rethink what we need to do uh, around symptom management, for example, towards end of life. And I have an opportunity to uh, assist with the formulation of where it's going so that it ends up being useful for me. Most important piece has been rubbing shoulders with and having the opportunity to sit down and engage in conversation with people who are actively in the field and doing research.